Hey guys, this is JT. I hope you're safe in Maman after the typhoon in the country. Today, I'll be sharing with you my experience about renewing my professional identification card or my license. It was my first time to renew a few days ago. I haven't received it yet, but I hope it will be successful. Successfully, I was able to pay, but of course, I'll, I hope I'll be receiving it, let's say, in three weeks time. Welcome to my channel, this is JT. I create videos about education, travel, and career. For more Maman videos, just click the subscribe button. I was able to renew upon execution of undertaking to complete the required number of CPD units for the next period. Good thing about it, if it's your first time to renew or you were not able to complete, we are so lucky that the PRC gave this opportunity it's going to be until December 31st, 2021. If this is your first time to renew or you have not completed your CPD units, so we can do it online. I just want to clarify that everyone can do it online. However, we have to pick it up if you're not from Metro Manila. I have a relative in Manila and then I put their address. Anyway, I'll be showing you what I did here. Alright, first up, you have to Google PRC or just visit the website by typing www.prc.gov.ph and then you have to find the renewal and after that, you have to read the notice. Here we have a CPD notice that we can renew until December 31st, 2021. 2021 rather. <laughs> and then what do we have there? There are, if there are some advisories, you have to read and there this is the step-by-step -step procedure so if you want to read it and then now i'm logging to my account i i remember i have an old account i did apply for the examination but now what's going on i'm actually looking for my account because i forgot my password and all <laughs> but apparently based on my investigation <laughs> so i didn't see any any email address on my gmail and on my yahoo mail so what what i am doing now is the registration so i have to register again anyway that's all right if i have two accounts but i hope you would remember your password since you uh, took the exam or applied for the examination before so here i now register you're gonna save the password and apply for the transaction no apply for the renewal so here you just have to fill it out, fill it out your name address oh it seems that my hometown isn't here <laughs> My hometown is Santa Ana Pampanga. It's not on the map. <laughs> it's not in the system, I don't know. Okay, here. Let's try it again. Okay, that's it. I found it. Contact details. Your address. Of course, start with the house number, the street. Alright, it's just easy, right? I, you know all of these things. It's, this is too personal. And family background, your father's name, your mother's name. It's just like you are applying for an exam again. Those are just the important details of your life. Now I'm looking for my school where I took my education course. But, oh, there is a note. It seems that... Wait, let me try to continue. Education... But, I'm wondering. Wait, there is a note there that I have to if you took 18 unit cores to take the licensure exam for teachers you have to put your school when you took your undergraduate course and in my case I took accounting so I have to okay there have the university 
university name and then my bachelor's degree not the education because I didn't have bachelor's degree in education but I'm I'm renewing my license in education so there you have it and then okay if it's self-employed I'm actually <laughs> confused here because I just came back to the country and I didn't know local yes local I'm self-employed right now home based home base would I well, is that home base I don't know <laughs> I'm really confused with my employment so it's really hard to or homies you didn't know what your category is and then there check if you're applying for renewal and then there passport is it no 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 pass not passport just review and then select transaction oh I forgot something before you select transaction be sure that you were able to fill out all of the things that you need all right now you have successfully updated your profile after having a profile oh it's not yet complete you have to include you have to upload a 2 by 2 photo there uploading I hope you're ready for this always have a soft copy of your photos especially this one okay almost complete yes complete it's now complete and then I have to search transaction which is renewal Okay, always read. Take time to read the following. Because it's really difficult when you make a mistake. Alright, now renewing. And here, how to pay. It's just 450 pesos, that's for 3 years already. And then, if you have a credit card, a Visa or MasterCard. But in my case, I think I'm just gonna use. PayPal, uh, I pay Maya. All right, just review. Okay. All right, what is this? Select what? I didn't know if I'm going to pick it up. Robinson's place and Fernando isn't here, so. I didn't know. <laughs> Before, when I applied for the exam, when I applied for the exam, we had Pampanga, but Manila, it's not really safe to go there. So, we have Clark, but I really don't want, and it's not really safe to go out. So, what am I gonna do? Okay, no slots available anyway. It's good because I think we're just going to have the shipping option. And then I'm thinking about allowing them to send it to Manila. Anyway, we have another uh, boxes here to fill out. Oh, sorry, what is that? We have another boxes, and I'm just going to include, I'm just going to fill it out, but I'm gonna use my cousin's address in Manila so they can send it. Oh, it's a good choice because if you have a cousin there, Oh, I don't know their boring guy actually, so I get <laughs> I gotta ask them wait for a while. Okay, I'm done. And then now it's time for Paymaya. I, I gotta pay through Paymaya. It's really convenient. Okay, you must have the undertaking that you were able to complete your <laughs> CPD units. But if you have some CPD units, you really have to go there. You re I mean, if you if you were able to attend some, you know, conferences, so you have to bring the document. So in here, there is an undertaking, since it's my first time and I didn't have any seminar <laughs> since I was working abroad. And then now I'm about to pay. Here we go, log in to Pimaya. Oh, I only have 100, so I have to get 500 pesos. For my bank account oh that's it now i have 500 and then okay just submit the application and confirm and pay for 150 pesos and of course you will receive oh that is the code that you're about to scan they were 
Okay, four, five, eight. Complete eight passes is the convenience fee or something. All right. Payment successful. Mm, we still have another one. Okay, we're about to pay the shipping fee <laughs> since it's really convenient. So we have to pay the shipping fee. That's directly to the courier, and it it wasn't included with a it wasn't included with a first payment. So that was just 450 plus eight service charge, and we we're going to play. We're going to pay. Double double the express. How much is it? All right. Confirm payment. Say yes. Say yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's just 180. Right. A uh, 160. Okay. Just fill it out, and then of course it's important. Uh, here they accept GCash, so I'm gonna use GCash. That is it. It's paid. Almost done. Okay, that's it. Just easy, right? If you have Paymaya and Gcash, everything is going to be smooth. Oh, forbidden? No, 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 no. I don't know why it appeared, but. Okay. Log in to pay with Gcash, and, the, and then you would receive a confirmation code. Alright. Do not share it to anyone. Okay, just type the confirmation code that you received on your mobile phone. That's five six. All right, and your PIN, of course. Do not share this one. There, I still have. Okay, I'm gonna pay one hundred eighty. So we have paid four five eight plus one eighty. Okay, that's it. Successfully paid one hundred eighty pesos for the shipping. So now I'm just going to wait. So. I think they will be receiving it in two weeks or more <laughs> but the important thing is that we are safe right so we don't need to go out we don't need to go to the nearest P nearest PRC branch just for this anyway I don't need the physical copy of it yet okay that is what we did by the way what I did might not work for you because of the following reasons number one this year we can renew our license online and we would receive it let's say after two weeks or three if you are from metro manila so that's just the case i hope next year they'll be able to you know send our licenses wherever we are in the philippines yes they can send our professional identification card if we're from Manila or we have a relative in Manila, that is what I did <laughs> because nowadays it's really not safe to go out. So what I did, I was about to schedule to pick it up in a branch here in Central Luzon. But I think, I don't know, I just thought about this. I, I was thinking, oh, maybe I can let them to send it to my cousin in Manila. That's what I did. So I put my cousin's address, then hopefully they would receive it. So let's say in three weeks <laughs> number two this is not the first time to renew your card or you have completed a certain number of units required i mean the cpd units so i think in that case you're not allowed to to process it online you are allowed to process it online however you have to pick it up what i'm saying is you're not allowed to do what i did it's like they're about to send it you won't need to go out that's what I did. That is it. I hope you learned something here. Bye for now. Have a Monday.